Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It is Sunday the 4th of February 2024. I'm going to start off this weekend's video with a look through the major indexes. Lots to get through as always on the, the weekend video in order to get through all of the data that we need for, for Stan Weinstein's Stage Analysis method. So anybody else that's a, a member on the site you can use the, the chapters feature which you'll find down here on the bottom right of the video so you can jump to whatever section is relevant. So getting back to the, the indexes here, we've got the, the S&P 500 starting off and it's now been 14 weeks of since we reversed back off of the, the lows back at the, the end of October, only with a, a single down week. So while things look, look rosy on the surface and it's, it's pushing out to new highs, you can see we are starting to see a, a drift in the, in the breadth, still in a reasonably strong field position, but it's started to drift back below the, the various moving averages that we use for our environment statuses here. So I'll go into that in a little bit more detail in the, the market breadth section of the video, but we have switched to a, what we call a, a difficult environment here. And this is covering the, the percentage of stocks above their 50 day, 150 day and 200 day moving average in the, in the market. So things are getting a little bit more cautious under the, under the surface while the, the mega caps continue to, to push out here. So again, this gives a, the S&P 500 gives a, a more rosy picture than what we're seeing. If you look under, under the surface a little bit, if we go to the, the daily chart quickly on this and look at the, the daily chart compared to the equal weight, you can see this, this move in the, in the daily chart since the, the middle of January is not in the, in the same vein in the equal weight. We did come off a little bit more in the equal weight and it's still underneath those, those recent highs. The, the pattern has been the same, it has been moving higher, but it's recovering from a, a deeper pullback here. So we're still going, going sideways in the equal weighted chart here, whereas in the, the, mega, um, the main S&P 500 that continues to push to new highs, running above that, that 180R level and 280R level here. So still in a, a strong uptrend only 58.6% of stocks above their 20-day their moving average at the moment. So getting back towards more neutral territory. So between 60 and 40% is the, is the neutral end of the range. When you're in a strong up tend, trend, you tend to be above that 70% level. So this was our momentum area as such. So starting to, to lose some momentum here, even though the price action has continued higher. We have got lots of earnings have, have been coming out and we've got many more in the in the coming weeks. This week's another heavy week. So if we look at some of the, the mega caps here. We've had some some a mixed reactions with the different ones. Nvidia hasn't reported yet, so that's still a few weeks away. But Apple's come off a bit. Amazon actually had a, a strong gap up move there on Friday. Google came off gap back down again. Meta had a strong move on Friday. Microsoft have been mixed and Tesla came off. So very, very mixed reactions from the, the mega caps at the moment. Go on to the, the NASDAQ 100, you can see continuing to push out to new highs in stage two as well. Again, very similar story with this one, only uh, a couple of weeks of, of pullback before pushing out to new highs again. Still 77% of stocks above their 200 day moving average are still in a much stronger position and it continues to be the, the leading index with the majority of the, the last year in stage two with only a brief foray into, into stage three there before making that continuation breakout. If you look at the daily, still in that strong short-term uptrend above that 180R level, but again, breadth starting to, to drift a little bit, 61% above their 20-day moving average. So if it does start to break below Wednesday's pivot, which was caused by the, the Fed reaction there, then that would be a, a major warning sign. But at the moment, still within this short-term base structure here. So give us more clues depending on whether it can it can push out of this, whether it starts to, to pull back within this range. Now that composite, very similar picture, still below that 2021 high low, but continuing higher in stage two at the moment, 45.76% above their 200 day. If you look at the daily chart again, still holding above that 180R level in that short-term uptrend. Now that um, MYSC pushing out Still reasonably early in stage two, still within its first quarter of breaking out into stage two. Had a few failed break, stage two breakout attempts back through 2023. This one has been more successful, starting to push up towards those 2021 highs here. Still 66.02% of stocks above their 200 day moving average. So 
above that sort of stage two level that we look for. We look for 60% plus generally for a, a stage two type environment above their 200 day. If you look at the daily, again, still drifting above its 180R level. The pullback on Wednesday shook out quickly over the single day, push back higher again. So the short term uptrend is still intact. Again, Wednesday's low there would be a, a major warning sign if it starts to, to drop back below that again. But if it can continue on from here, then still in stage two. Industrials starting pushing higher. The Dow Industrials still one of the stronger stage two advances at the moment with very little in the way of, of pullback here. Still pushing to, to new highs at the moment. So 76.67% 6, above their 200 day in the Dow and holding above its its plus two ATR level at the moment so very strong in the in the short term too whereas the Russell only just briefly into stage two here so it's only just made this recent attempt to move out into stage two so you can see that the failed stage two breakouts from back through 2023 finally starting to get a little bit more traction we had a backup and rebound type move so we've got 62.67 percent of stocks above there um, 200 day moving average at the moment so if it starts to drop back below that 60 percent level then that would be a warning sign there and again on the, the daily chart here you can see that the stage two breakout level and the, and the backup area starting to it's getting close to that still above a rising 50 day moving average but just sitting underneath that 21 day moving average if we can start to get back above the 180r level then could make continuation in stage two but at the moment consolidating in that that backup range of only 40.33 percent above their 20-day moving average so a little bit weaker than we're seeing with the the other areas of the market as this is below that that 50 percent level whereas the vix still holding up around these these pivots it's pushed up into there a few times and have a few spikes above back towards that 200 day moving average if it gets back above the 200 day that's our warning sign but at the moment still in a neutral slightly positive area it starts to drift below these weeks this week's lows then potentially that would be a positive but we do start to get back above that 200 day then that would be a major warning sign so a little bit of a, a dangerous position at the moment for that we look at